Hi everyone, this talk is about on Kwanis in the BPK model or quasi adaptive non interactive zero knowledge in the BAP of the key model. I am Behzad Abdul Maliki and this is a joint work with Helder Lipma, Yano Sim, and Michal Zajik. Kwanis is a variant of music in the CRS model uh, where the CRS depends on the language parameter L bar. For some language, uh, which parameterize it with some language parameter L par. Uh, as in the CRS uh, model, we assume that there is a trusted third party which is given a language parameter, which is given a language parameter L par as an input. It uh, it's generates the CRS and share it to both prover of Alice and verifier or Bob, and then prover uh, an input L par and CRS. Uh, wants to convince the verifier of, some, of validity of some statement x. Such dependency, such dependency on the CRS allows to construct very efficient quantizing for linear language, uh, which this construction is based on some standard assumptions. As an application, such a construction can be, I mean, this quantizing can be used to construct Commit pen scheme, IDE, and signature, and recently they are used in to building a snark and shuffle containers. The main challenge of in the in, in such a model, and uh, basically in the CRS model, is the need of the trusted party for generating this CRS, which it uh, raises the following questions. Is the security guarantee if the prover does not trust the CRS generator? Is the security guarantee if the verifier does not trust the language parameter generator? Or can we, can, can we transfer such a construction to more black model, like as BAPE public key model or BPK model in, in, in short? This talk or this work will mainly answer or, in, or investigate such questions. Let's first have a look at the background of this work. We first start with, def with the definition of non-interactive zero knowledge in the common reference string model, or in short, NISIC in the CRS model, where we assume that there is a trusted third party who generates CRS and shares for both prover and verifier. And such an argument allows the prover to convince the verifier of validity of side statement uh, X. And here, for, uh, verifier V either uh, accept the proof or reject it. Such a construction must satisfy the following properties. Completeness states that for a valid X or for a X which is in the language, verifier V should accept the proof. Soundness uh, is actually opposite and states that for a cheating prover who doesn't have a valid uh, X or a valid statement, which uh, is not in the language, it should not be able to convince the verifier. And finally, zero knowledge states that the proof of pi generated by a valid prover should not leak uh, no Im information of the witness than the fact that X is the, in the language to the verifier. As, as I mentioned uh, at the beginning, a variant of the NISIC is called quasi-adoptive NISIC or QANIS in short, where in such a construction, uh, the CRS depends on the language parameter rho, which the language parameter rho is generated honestly before we fix the CRS. And also, this row cannot be adaptively depend on the CRS. And usually, you, you can think this, uh, and usually row is some public key. Or, for example, in the LGAMOL encryption or LGAMOL language, row can be seen as a public key of the encryption. In the most efficient quantities for the linear language, the proof size only contains one group elements, which is the main advantage of the using Quanisk in some applications. 
And as I pointed before, it has a lot of applications in commitment scheme, IP signature, and recently they just used snark construction and uh, shuffle arguments. So they are getting more attention and, uh, uh, these days. The notation of Quanizik uh, first was introduced by Roy and Utla in 2013 and then ended by Kilsan B in Eurocape 15, where they proposed the most efficient Quanizik for the linear language, which contains only one group element. Before we, we explain kills and the Quanizik, let's have a short view overview of the notation. Let G1, G2, and GT be a dative group of uh, order P. And we denote bracket of I, which and this A is A times GI, where GI is a generator of GI, and A is an integer. And assume G1 times G2, go to the GT is a bilinear mapping. Kilsanvi in 2015 uh, proposed the most efficient Quanisk uh, for subspace or linear language by the efficiency, I mean the efficiency respect to the proof size and verification complexity. And by linear language here, I mean the language that the word is the spam of some language parameter, for example, here the language parameter m with some with the witness w, and as I mentioned before, to first pick or generate the language parameter rho and then serious generator given the language parameter rho generates the, the, the serious and the rest of the protocol is the same as before. The nice thing about kills with Kwanisk. Uh, of the soundness of case week one is, is that uh, its soundness is under some standard assumptions. It's called kernel MDDH. Roughly speaking, kernel S M MDDH states that given uh, some vector in, in group, some, some vector A in, in group, for example, here it could, it could contain only one and a, a random A, it should be difficult to compute a vector which contains. A, a vector in group which contains B and C, a non zero uh, element such that A times this B and C is equal to zero in group T. And, and this is just a simple ver version of kernel MDDH. And this also works for other uh, distribution of A. Another no, a new actually a notion of security is called subversion security, which was introduced by Bellare, Fuchsbauer, and Escapura in 2016, where uh, they studied uh, NISIC in some untrust un un setup and they defined some new uh, security notation. Which first called subversion ZK states that zero knowledge hold even CRS creator is malicious. Subversion soundness states that soundness should hold even if the CRS creator is malicious. And uh, also, they proved some possibility and impossibility results that are listed here, which the most important one is that uh, they proved that. Uh, having uh, simultaneously subversion soundness and subversion ZK is impossible, and even subversion soundness and ZK is impossible. So, uh, and also they prove that having uh, soundness and subversion ZK is possible, which this property got some attention. Uh, where uh, in 2017, we and also in, in 2018, Fuchs Power in a different world cons constructed a version of SNARP that satisfied sound soundness and subversion ZK. And before this work, uh, having a sub soundness and subversion ZK Quanisk uh, was an open problem. Uh, before we go through to the main result, we just uh, remind 
uh, different models here that will be used in the rest of the talk. So far, we were uh, in the CRS model or common reference string model where the CRS was generated by some trusted party. And this trusted party shares the CRS to both prover and verifier. A, a relaxed version of this model is called BPK or bare public key model, where in such a setting, both prover uh, and verifier can generate uh, his, uh, his own public key and register it in his own authority and then and then read the public key from the other authority for example prover can read the public key one and generate his proof based on that and send it to the verifier and verifier in order to to verify the proof can read the public key two and verify the proof i would here note that this ppk one and two can be seen as a just public bulletin board. Now let's go through to our result. Now we are ready to go through to our result. We first observe that we, we first uh, in, investigate a variant of the PPK model where verifier generates the public key, or if I want to match with the previous uh, 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 slides. Here by PPK, PPK, we mean the CRS, but in the rest of the talk, we called it PPK, where verifier generated and registered it to the, uh, some bulletin board, and prover read it and generate his proof and send it to the verifier, where prover does not trust the PPK of the proof of. And here, I would note that again, that this bulletin board is only trusted to store, not to change the PK. And as we saw before, sub CK setting uh, state that uh, prover does not need to trust to the CRS generator, or more precisely, from prover's point of view, this the CRS generator and the uh, the prover and the verifier can be only one party or they can communicate to each other. And so uh, we were interested to, to have zero knowledge in such a setting. And we observed that sub CK in, in the CRS model is equivalent to the BPK model, uh, to the ZK, to the bare public key model or in short BPK model. And then we translated Quantizic definition, quantizic security definition in the bare public key model, and says that quantizic argument system for linear language in in BPK model allows the prover to convince the verifier of the validity of some statement that must satisfy the following properties: completeness, subpar soundness. Persistent ZK and zero notch. Completeness states as before that for a valid X or X in, in the language, verifier should accept it. Subpar soundness is a new security definition which states that the soundness should hold even the language parameter row is generated maliciously and public key is honestly generated. So this is the stronger notion of the uh, soundness, where in this setting, actually, we assume that the language parameter also is, is uh, generated maliciously. And uh, another new security notation is called persistent zero knowledge, where it states that proof of pi should not leak uh, any information of the witness than the fact that X is in the language to the verifier. Even uh, both language parameter and public key are maliciously generated. So, and also it should satisfy the standard ZK, which is the same as before. And uh, finally, we conclude that 
such construction in Quan is in DPK model is sub uh, is subversion zk if both uh, persistent zk and zk holds simultaneously. Now this question might arise that persistent zk is stronger than zk or not since in in the as we saw before in the persistent zk we assume that both language parameter uh, we we saw that zero knowledge hold even both uh, language parameter and but the public key are generated by uh, some malicious guy. But I would say that we can uh, this claim that persistent zk uh, is stronger than zk, or let's say if persistent zk holds for sure zk holds is not true. By showing a counter example, we called it uh, leaky quanisk, where uh, where we put the language parameter in both group, the language parameter M, for example, here for such a linear language that you, you can you can see here. And in the setup gets this language parameter. This setup is the trusted third party, for example, and output the CRS, which is bottom, and its trapdoor also is is bottom, and the prover can generate the proof uh, with this way that it just put it in the bracket, I mean, put it in the exponent. So it means that CRS is useless here. And for the zero knowledge proof, uh, as in the standard zero knowledge proof, we assume that the CRS is generated by some trusted third party. So the trapdoor of the CRS exists and the simulator in the ZK proof can get it can get the, the trapdoor and simulate the proof. But here, for the leaky quantisk, we can see that as the proof is generated just by knowing the witness and doesn't need to, to use the CRS, and the, the trapdoor does not exist, so the simulator in the ZK proof cannot simulate the proof. And so, leaky quantisk does not satisfy ZK property. But on the other hand, for the persistent ZK, uh, as, uh, mm, as we rely on some uh, non falsable assumption, or more precisely, we use some extractor under some uh, non falsifiable assumption to extract the trapdoor of the language parameter M for, for this leaky quantity, and then the simulator of the uh, persistent ZK can get the, this trapdoor of the language and then simulate the proof. So here we saw that um, this Liku can uh, satisfy the persistent ZK, but it doesn't satisfy uh, the zero knowledge proof. This is zero knowledge property. And roughly speaking, by the BDH assumption here, we mean that. Uh, if there is an algorithm by having some uh, as, a, as, a, as an input some uh, random thing, it could generate a Y, for example, in both groups, there is an extractor with the same uh, input that can extract Y without bracket. And in this slide, uh, we just summarize. Our recipe for kills Bitcoin is in BPK model. Mainly, we designed a public algorithm which called BPK, which called BP, uh, which called PKW, that uh, checks the pub the well-formedness of the public key. Or more precisely, this algorithm gets as an input language parameter row and the public key P key. And output one if it's well formed, and then uh, it guarantees that there exists some secret S key of the public key P key. So I would say that designing uh, this PKV, I mean, the structure of this uh, algorithm is very complicated because it has some sub algorithms. For, for checking the distribution of uh, some matrices in the uh, kill speak and then and 
So I would not go through to that with that detail. So I would refer to the I would refer the paper to see the the detail of such a uh, algorithm. But such an algorithm is very crucial in for proving sub sub zk or more precisely for persistent zk, where we say that where in in the proof we say that if the public key this PKV on input a row and the public key uh, output one, which says that this is well formed, we say that there exists an extractor the, that can recover the secret key from the public key, and then simulating can be done by this secret key. And this extractor works under some a new knowledge assumption. We called it uh, Kilsby knowledge of X exponent or in short uh, KWKE. So we can see here that the, the extraction of the SK requires some non-black box uh, knowledge assumption which, or non-falsable assumption which formally says that there exists extractor such that if creator uh, creates public key P key such that uh, 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 the public uh, algorithm uh, PKV on input row and this PK output one, or this is, or the PK is well formed, then the extractor output the secret key of the public. Uh, uh, at the end, I just listed some additional results of this work, which first well, is that we we translate the Kilsby Kuanis in the Bay public key model and also we prove its subpar soundness under a variant of the kernel MDDH called kernel MDDH uh, DL, which is an interactive assumption such that kernel MDDH holds even the adversary was given non-adaptive access to a DL oracle. And importantly, I would say that here is the first of the use uh, uh, of such x power y type non-falsable assumption to construct success and needs. And then we proved uh, a stronger notion of the soundness, we called it uh, uh, subpar knowledge sound under some uh, 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 assumptions that's called SDLDL assumption or symmetric discrete loop assumption. And at the end, we proved uh, the the kills. We, we, we proved the kills we Kwanis persistence under uh, the new knowledge assumption KWKE, and uh, also uh, we proved that this new knowledge assumption is secure in the HAQ model, which uh, beside this Kwanis, this knowledge assumption got. Uh, uh, some uh, other uh, uh, interest in some other works, uh, for example, uh, for generating, I guess, uh, SNARK and yeah. Thank you so much, and see you in the main.